What's up guys? So today we are going to talk about default parameters in JavaScript. If you want to make your JavaScript base stronger, it's one of the things you need to understand so that uh, you can apply some cool tricks in your code. So I'm going to show you how to deal with the optional parameters and default parameters. Uh, this feature was missing in ES5. It was introduced in ES6. So we're going to look at it, how it works in detail. And welcome to Texas Tutorials. All right, so let's start with a simple function. I'm going to call it add function. And it takes two arguments, A and B. And it would basically return A plus B. That's a very simple function. And let's run it and see what happens. Now, if I console log it, and let's say if I don't provide any parameters, what would happen? If I don't provide any parameters, then A and B are undefined because I did not provide any parameters. And so let's see what returns. So if I run this, it will return me not a number. And this is because you need to handle uh, this kind of situation where user doesn't provide any parameters and you need to handle inside. So we're gonna look at how uh, we used to do it in ES5 first, and then we're gonna look at how to do it in ES6. So usually what you would do here is you would say if um, A is, let's say, equal to undefined, then you would say A equal to zero. Now it doesn't always have to be zero. You, you could be passing strings or numbers, and then you could, you need to um, provide a default value accordingly. So what I'm doing is if if you don't pass any parameters, then I'm going to set the value of A to be 0. So if I add them, it will be 0 plus 0. So the answer is 0. So now if I run this, I would get 0. Now there is a better way to do this. You can simply do this. So you can say A equal to if A has a value, then it's a or it's zero same thing i can do for b b equal to b if it has a value or if it's not undefined then it make it zero and then return a plus b so now if i run this i would get zero now if i provide a, let's say only one parameter if i provide one parameter that means i'm providing a so this is how so basically doing a one plus zero. If I want to pass only B, then I don't know if you know this, but you can just do this undefined and one. That means A is undefined, B is one. You cannot simply do uh, this. It won't work. It would give you an error, unexpected token this. So you need to have an undefined here. Just a uh, trick that if you don't know this. And now if I run this, it would say one. All right, you can even have it more concise syntax you can simply do this this and this should work as well i don't need this two lines all right so now if i run this it gives me one and if i remove the entire argument then i get zero which works fine but this is still confusing it's not needed so in ES6, and uh, if you're using the latest version of browser, if you're using Chrome, you're probably using the latest version because it updates automatically. Um, you can do this. So you can simply say A equal to zero, which means if I don't provide a value, consider considered as zero. And then inside, all I have to do is A plus B. And I don't really have to do anything else. So now if I run this it would be zero and if i do provide a value let's say one and two then it would be three now i can also do this um i can say this which means a equal to zero that's a default value and b equal to whatever the value of a is so in this case if i 
don't provide anything, that means a equal to zero, and since b equal to a, which means b also equal to zero. So I run this, I would get zero. But let's say if I provide a value, a equal to one, and then run it, then the answer is two because since a equal to one, then also b equal to one since b equal to a. So it's adding one plus one, so that's why I went two. And if you do, let's say, undefined and one, which means, uh, let's see what happens. It's one because when, so in this case, a equal to zero, obviously, because defined and b equal to a, because b already I'm providing a value, it's gonna take the, the one I'm giving, um, not the default. So that's why it is. So it's important to understand that. Now here I'm expecting numbers. That's why I'm putting default value equal to zero. But let's say if, I, if I'm adding two arrays, I can actually do this, empty array and b equal to an empty array. And here instead of a plus b, I can do spread operator. And now let's say if I don't provide any value, it should add an empty array plus empty array, which would be the empty array. So I get an empty array. Uh, let's say if I provide an array and run this, I would get one array. And if I have a, another array, let's say two, and run this, and then I get two values in the array. So it merges two arrays. Now, instead of uh, passing this kind of values, um, what if I'm passing an object? So let's say if I have an object, um, an object literal, I'm gonna just say call it x, and which has two values, a equal to one and b equal to two. All right, and here passing some object, which which could be this, and so inside I would simply do this, um, object dot a plus object dot b right since I'm expecting it has a and b value now if I provide x inside then it would take this object would be x and then it would do x dot a plus x dot b so which would be 3 if I run this I get 3 which works but here what if I don't provide this I have a problem and it gives me the error actually because uh, when I try to access property E of the object, it's not there, so it's gonna complain. So let's first do ES5A, how to deal with the situation. So first thing you have to do is here, I have to say if, if object is not undefined, then it's object, else it's an empty object, all right, and then I have to say, um, let a, I can create two variables, is if object has a value, then it's fine, or else I'm gonna set it to zero. And same thing with b, if object has b value, then I keep b or else it's zero. And here I would simply do a plus b. So now if I run this, I would get zero. So this is sort of like a default value, but this is still a long thing to do. If I have much giant object, I don't wanna deal with this. So how do I set my default values here? So the answer is very simple. Instead of object, I can put its definition here. And here I can say A equal to uh, zero and B equal to zero. And I can simply do this. However, it still won't work because if I run this, it will still complain me because here it's just only checking, setting the value of default value for A and B, but not the entire object. So I have to use a destructuring and I could say, and if I don't provide entire object, then I have to do this. And this, this step is very important. All right, so now if I run this, and let me just clear this, and if I run this, then I get zero. Now if I say X, then it give me three. So it works. So this is a nice little trick. Um, if you're passing an object, you can actually pass a definition, and then you can set the, the values. 
And uh, I will provide uh, all the examples on my Git site and provide the link in the uh, description so you can play around with it. And I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And if you did, you can help uh, three ways. You can obviously provide a comment and a like and subscribe. Um, and you can support the channel via a Patreon or you can translate the video. Um, I'll provide the link in the description. And thank you.